What's going on, everybody? Today, I feel like it's a little bit of a more of a special day. You know, I, uh, I've been, I've been kind of seeing these a little bit here and there. You know, around, around here, um, mainly at CVS for these ones. Kind of, they know they were at Walgreens for a little bit there, and CVS has been kind of like seeing them coming around a little bit. I've, at least personally on my area, I have found them a little bit in CVS lately, and I got these ones from. Uh, Family Dollar. I've been seeing these at Family Dollar as well. Um, yeah, you can see they're $10. There's only two packs in them. But all these have only have two packs in them. But I know that some of these have vintage packs. I don't know if the Family Dollar ones do. But I can almost guarantee you, I wouldn't say vintage, but definitely XY, uh, early XY. They believe like Primal Clash, stuff like that. So uh, so hopefully these things have some uh, older packs. Uh, XY is actually kind of older now. If you think about it, it's almost the third, you know, been three series ago. So anyways, you know, if you could, you know, please, you know, Hit that like button, you know, subscribe, you know, share it out, get those notifications, especially if I go live or something like that, so you can get those um, code cards and all that good stuff. So anyways, let's get this week underway. You know, it's Monday. We're going to have a good day here. Um, last Saturday, you should definitely go check that video out. I did a whole case live of uh, booster boxes, and then I'll be doing another one, not booster boxes, but sleep packs live on this Saturday coming up. So keep it tuned for that. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get it. Uh, you know, uh, come in on uh, my live, actual live stream and uh, chat with me and whatnot like that. So anyways, let's get this party started, shall we? All right, everyone, here we go. We're going to start off with the dollar, uh, family dollar ones. And just because I know the other ones have some, probably some vintage stuff. And the family dollar ones, and these ones have, uh, if you ever see these, they are $10. You do only get two packs in them. You get some foil cards and whatnot. You only get two CC player packs, coin, you know, and you get the... Uh, the foil cards, but that, that's what it is. Not bad, kind of cool box, but let's we'll see what we get here. My prediction is Fusion Strike. I have not opened these up in a very, very, very long time, but I did. I have recently gone to my family dollar and noticed that, uh, get the Bolton. We got a nice Charizard coin, all right. Charizard's really cool. Okay, we got Bolton, we got Fusion Strike, and, Ch um, and Chili Rain, all right. Yeah, that's the thing. If you see these at Family Dollar for ten bucks, I don't know how badly you want those two packs, but that's all right. You know, we got we got the nice Bolton here, very very shiny Bolton. And the thing is, you need these cards if you really want to complete a master set of stuff because these are alternate art, alternate hollows of certain sets. As you see, there's a there's Vivid Voltage and Sword and Shield Base. So you do need those if you want to have an actual master set. And there's the code form for the TCG player. Start us off with Chili Rain. Chili Rain's been doing really good for me lately. Let's see how it rolls. Pull the alternate art. Uh, now, what the last, like, two or three videos ago, we got the full art Blissey. So, let's see how good Chili Rain does for us. I've been really excited to open these up. I've had these, some of these laying around for a while. So, anyway, we're going to get this party started. We got ourselves a nice Flannery and a Deerling. Got Sneasel. And we got Fur Fluff and... Nice P, we got Diglett and oh, a nice little Moltres V. All right, I'll take an ultra rare Moltres V out of this. It's not worth my ten dollars so far, it's probably worth maybe a dollar, dollar fifty. It's a good card, just kind of lost some thunder. Um, now that Mew isn't nearly as a popular deck as it used to be, but we got Fusion Strike. Speaking of Mew, I love me some Fusion Strike. Uh, I do have the whole master set of Fusion Strike, so it's not nearly as exciting for me, but there are still some cards I would love to pull extra of. Um, still some money in here. Gengar would be really cool to pull still. You know, all that good stuff. Battle VIPs are really good uncommon. We did not get one of those. We got Durant. We got a Pinsire. We got Baltoy. We got Baltoy. And Vigavolt. Okay. All right. Nope. Oh, there went that Fusion Strike. And yeah, I'm going to just go through all the blue ones first. I have three blue, two yellow. And then we got the, uh, the more crazier ones probably at the end here. Didn't really know. Oh, there's another Charizard coin. It flew out of the box. So I wasn't able to get it to you. But that's all right. Sorry about that. Wasn't able to show you the Charizard coin again. I mean, that's so sad. All right, here we go. And we got the still, we got the three uh, alternate hollow promos with the code for them. And the same two packs. Who knew? Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm honestly okay with opening Chilling Rain. I like Chilling Rain personally. The set that not a lot of people like, but there's a lot of really cool art in it. Especially with some of the uh, alternate arts, there's still a lot of missing in this set. The set was huge, I think, when it came to like the secret rares and stuff like that very very hard stuff to pull oh yeah i remember what i pulled recently that i did not open up on camera we got Bennett and oh galate i did pull the alternate art shadow rider v max i pulled that off camera i was opening up a box just to get some chilling rain stuff so opening a collection box just so i can get some uh, evolving skies packs out of it for my end of the year video and uh i pulled the alternate art shadow rider v max which you'll see when i do the uh, booster box opening of chilling rain 
Oh, I'm doing, I'll do the, uh, eight. Uh, we got a quick ball. It's not a terrible, that's a pretty good, uh, common right there. We got ourselves a chance. He ain't sent a scorch. All right. You know, uh, Fusion Strike failed us again. And here's the last of the blue one. I know the blue ones, you know, they have the same, same hollows and all that stuff. And then the yellow ones have a different hollow, you know, different hollows and, uh, throw that on there. We got another Charizard coin here. We got ourselves a nice chilling rain and Fusion Strike again. All right, you know, um, yeah, I just went to Family Dollar literally like two weeks ago and I saw these there and I'm like, hmm, you know, now's a good time to do this video because I've had a couple of these knockouts laying around and I thought it'd be fun to do. And uh, me knowing that that white box, I did just see that we just got it at CVS maybe a month ago and it was kind of like one of those buildups like, hey, you know, I, let's do a video on this. I mean, why not? It sounds like fun to me. It's stuff that you might see in some of your stores if you're kind of curious in random stores when you go in them. If you're kind of curious what's in these products, I thought it was a good opening. You know, it doesn't have to be a good pool opening. Just a nice little informative opening. We got a squirrel and a glade. Okay. All right. Maybe this Fusion Strike pack will uh, do us some love here. Fusion Strike hasn't given us any love yet. Shane Rain's only given us a slight little love, but that's all right. Here we go. This the rest of the, the end of the video is gonna be a lot better, I guarantee. Because I do know, I'm not 100 percent sure on. Hey, that uh, that Venture Discovery is not a terrible card. We got ourselves a nice Porn Peco, Eevee, but Catcher, and ooh, a nice little Greninja V. We got an Ultra Rare from both of them. We finally got an Ultra Rare out of at least one of each of those packs. From the blue ones, Greninja, maybe a dollar, maybe a dollar. But we got some cool art going on back there. We have we got the yellow ones. With the Dorelodon, the Toxtricity, and the Sanaconda. Interesting. Do not know the pack selection out of these. We're going to just go like this. So that way you guys can see that I'm not playing with you. Alright, there we go. And... Looks like... Looks like same packs. And we got, even got the same coin. I like the Charizard coin though. Same packs. That's alright. That's alright. We need a... We have plenty of Chilling Rain empty spaces in our binder. So, nothing wrong with doing some Chilling Rain. Nothing wrong with Fusion Strike 2. Some really cool cards we can pull. And there is your alternate hollows for uh, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Blaze, and Battle Styles that you will need to complete these sets if you want an actual master set of the sets. So there's that one thing too where people don't realize that uh, a master set, you have to have literally all the variants as well. So like, if you really want that master set, you gotta have all the variants. The McDonald's variants and all that jazz. The, uh, the Halloween variants. We got Chilling Rain. We got ourselves some sausage bucket. And oh, look at that. Look at that alternate art. Moltres V. Now that is a hit. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card. I just pulled this card a couple, like a month or so ago. And I pulled it again. This was my absolute chase card going into this set. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card. And I got to pull it on camera. That is awesome. This card right here is worth like $70 to $80. I haven't looked at the price in a while, but I'm sure it's still in that area. The artwork is absolutely amazing. Got the Moltres. You got the moon. You got the clouds. You got the forest coming down here with the eyes in the forest. Very, very cool. Oh, my God. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, I cannot get over this. And how I got two of them, I don't know. Man, that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't even know what to do after that. That is why we open up Chili Rain, folks. That is why right there. I know Chili Rain isn't super exciting, but when you get something like that, wow. All right. All right. So uh, I've been holding onto that pack for I don't know how long. And it's right there. Oh, Moltres. Oh, Moltres. Moltres, Moltres. What's up? All right. We got dark. Speaking of darks, man, we're sure are getting all the dark pools. All right. Wow. I, I honestly couldn't pull anything else. Arcana and Electros. I could not pull anything else in this this opening, and I would be perfectly happy right now. I literally got one card that literally paid for almost this whole opening. I mean, what are each one of these are like ten dollars a piece. So in reality, I got nine of them, so it's like ninety bucks. So yeah, not yeah. That card literally paid. For, do I got two coins in here? Oh, it just sound like I did. All right, anyway, we got another Charizard coin. We got Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain again. I don't. Yeah. Wow. Look at that Moltres. Look at that Moltres. That's crazy. Oh man, that card is so beautiful. I don't, I can't even, I can't even describe that card right now. Oh man, there's a code card for these alternate art, alternate hollow, not alternate art, but alternate hollow. 
They got the nice little galaxy foil. I think the galaxy foil has always been cool. I was in it, you know, ever since, uh, was it base set two came out? I think that's when they started doing galaxy foils. Basically ever since then, I've always loved the galaxy foil way more than the original hollow foil that they had for wizard of the coast. So when they make galaxy foil stuff, always, always better, always better hollow. Anyways, we got chili rain here. What can chili rain do for you? Apparently it can, it can pay for a whole opening. Sobble and, uh, oh, Corona. Uh, Sobble though, really, really good reverse hollow. Uh, the Inteleon run has kind of died. It's not nearly as good. It, it's still good. It's still a good run. It's just that there are just, uh, people are trying to walk away from that run because, well, it's going to go out. It's going out of rotation in January. So it's going to go out of rotation. People are trying to walk away from it. All right, Fusion Strike. You have definitely need to step up a little bit. We got Jinx and Marini. We got Pansier and Huntail. No, oh, Fusion Strike did not step up. That's all right. That is all right. All right, we are on to these Lucario boxes. And now these things, I think Pokemon Center was selling these a little bit too. And they had some really, really bad packs in them. Maybe it was those other ones, those Family Dollar ones. But I do know that some of these have older packs in them. Older packs. So let's see what we get here. I'm very, very excited to see this. I, haven't, I don't think I've opened up actual older packs on this channel ever. So we got ourselves the Lucario. And it comes out differently. Oh, I, well, we know one pack's in there. We got Lucario, and they come out a little differently than the other ones, so that's nice, too. All right. A little bit more protected. Comes in a different... Oh, never mind, doesn't. <laughs> I was about to say, it comes in a little bit different uh, packaging, but no, it doesn't. And these are alternate arts of old sets, to be honest with you. So that's what's cool about these, too. All right. You can have the code for these. Lucario, it says on there, but we got a nice little alternate hollow Lucario, Zorark, and Bisharp. The Bisharp is super, super dark, like, color into it. It looks super cool, especially with that. But, yeah, there are some alternate hollow older sets, as you can tell. Man, I don't even know the sets that well. I think this is Steam Siege, right? Uh, Fates Collide, and uh, I don't know that set. I, I, I can't think of it off the top of my head, honestly. Anyways, the packs. Well, we know we're getting Cosmic Eclipse. So that makes it worth it already. Cosmic Eclipse is like a $10 pack. And it's a... Oh, Celestial Storm. Not bad. I don't. I have not opened up a lot of Celestial Storm and Dragonite coin. So, two Sun and Moon packs out of that. Not bad. I'll take Celestial Storm. We're going to open up Celestial Storm. I believe this has a Rainbow Lugia in it. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me on that one. Um, man, I haven't opened up Sword. I haven't opened up Sun and Moon in forever. And honestly, I don't think I've opened up Sun and Moon on this channel at all. So, obviously, they have different energies. We got a Hiker, a Lure Ball. Interesting. We got Oricorio. We got Spinnerat, Larvitar, Slack Off, Love Disc, uh, Reverse Lampert, and Ooh, a Grump Pig. He grumpy. Grump Pig. Interesting. All right, that's a Celestial Storm. Now, I do know what's in this set because this is when I started playing. This is when I started recollecting again. Cosmic Eclipse. Looking for that Ultimate Art, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. The one that looks like a statue. <clears throat> that is the uh, card that I'm looking for. Some people would say, I do believe the Charizard and Brexen are out of this. The the uh, the rainbow version of it. We got Fairy Energy. Don't see those anymore. So that's very nice. Hold on a minute. Sorry, Misty. The Misty. That's actually a pretty decent card. Got Rotom, Rufflet, Oddish. Got Ralts and Sandy Gas and Sfeel. Guzzlord, Reverse Rare, and Ooze. Not a hollow rare. We got a nice little Alolan Sand Slash rare. Guzzlord is a reverse hollow rare. So there's that. Very, very nice. Let's try the next Lucario box, shall we? Let's see what's in this one. I I don't remember Celestial Storm being in these when they very first came out. So that's that too. We got... I don't want to just... Uh, we're going to go like that. I don't want to ruin the packs. We already know there's going to be a... We already know there's going to be a Cosmic Eclipse in there. Yeah, this is kind of fun. This was something I, I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I, I've been wanting to do some older pack stuff. Sometimes you just get bored of doing the new stuff. Yeah, it's fun collecting the new stuff. But, man, I don't have a lot of the old stuff. So, it's always nice to go in a different direction for once. I have been thinking about doing that kind of stuff. So, Lucario, Bisharp, and Zorark again. Those are the ones you get out of these. And we got ourselves a, we got ourselves another Dragonite coin. 
Dragon Knight coin. All right. No one cares. No, I mean, we all care about the coin, okay? But it's more about the packs in this one. Cosmic Eclipse and Celestial Storm again. All right. You know, not. Nah, I can. You know, if Celestial Storm was a like a Ultra Prism, wow. But yeah, the Cosmic Eclipse is worth almost as much as this box. So there you go, Celestial Storm. I'm not 100 sure how much Cosmic Eclipse pack is worth. I think it's like eight or nine dollars, somewhere in that nature. But we got ourselves a nice. Celestial Storm here. We got Copycat. And the art is just different now. You can just tell the differences in art. Tell the difference in styles. It's kind of interesting. We got a reverse Flamphy. And, ooh, okay. So the interesting thing about this Flamphy, uh, Flamphy, if you don't know, this Flamphy is actually a reprinted artwork from Neo Genesis, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same It's the same artwork from Neo Genesis. All right. Cosmic Eclipse. We're looking for those three boys. The ADP. The ADP deck. Those, that deck was so good. And his Aishi came out and it made it even better. All right, here we go. Here is a code for the Cosmic Eclipse. This is kind of fun. I'm, I'm going a little slower because these are older packs. You know, some people don't have not got to see these um, as much. You know, we got Jolteon, a nice uncommon Jolteon, oddly enough. Stuffle, Pontiar, Lit Leo, Coughing, Nose Pass. Curlia and oh a hollow rare Gallade. All right, at least we got a hollow rare. Very, very nice. I will take it. I will take the hollow rare all day. All right. The last Lucario, and then we're gonna hop onto that Tarantar one, which I'm I'm really really hoping it has what I think it has in it. That's kind of why I'm saving it for last. Um but we got Celestial Storm and Cosmic Clips again. I'll take it. We got the Dragonite again. Um, Cosmic Eclipse is fun. That's half the reason why you will, I've got these in the first place is for the Cosmic Eclipse. So, Lucario. I will uh, give you guys a Lucario code here. Why not? You know, we still got that Moltres, so no matter what, that we don't have to pull anything better. We don't have to. We already got we already got what we wanted. We got Moltres. And we got the uh, alternate art, alternate uh, hollow. And this one has a cool Blaziken impact artwork. Very, very cool. All right. Celestial Storm. I'm like... Pretty sure that the main hit in here is that hyper rare or rainbow rare, whichever one you want to, whichever name you want to call it, is the Lugia. But anyway, Celestial Storm. Here we go. Still four. All right. We got Psychic Energy. Poke Nav. Very, very nice. Got a Scythe Energy. We got Rad Tata. Torchic. Meta Tight Tight. Chinch Out. Dunsparce Reverse. And ooh, Reggie still reaching to grab your heart and tear it out like that pack just did to me. Very, very nice, though. I'll take it. It's fun. It was fun. Here we go. Cosmic Eclipse all the way. Cosmic Eclipse. Let's do this. ADP, where are you at? One nice thing about these old, all these other these packs is that the code card is actually facing out. So, yeah. There we go. Okay, here we go. We got, uh, got a little dust or something on there. Anyways, we got those guys. I don't know what they do, but they do stuff. We got an amulet. A cricket tot. Woo, bat. We got Tupig, Tomokamaro, Reverse, Grimer, and... Oh, nice little Rainbow, Sogaleo, and Lunala. Now, that is a hit in itself. I'm not 100% sure on the price of this, but I think it's around like 40 bucks. That is a hit. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Sogaleo and Lunala card. Woo-wee, what a hit. I will take it. I have the alternate art of this. Pulled it a long time ago, back in the set, very first came out. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card. I'm pretty sure this is a $40 card in that range. I know the alternate art's going for like 50 or 60, I think. Wow. That is beautiful and shiny. Look at that hit. Look at those hits in this opening. This was totally worth it all the way. And now we have the Tarantar knockout for the last pack. Come on, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe. Give me some good luck. All that good luck. I could use it. And you could tell this one is different. This one is in plastic. And wow, that's very, very cool. And uh, there's a code card for you guys. So I don't have to give it to you for that. Um, let's see what we got here. The uh, coin is a Genesect coin. Interesting. Not like all the rest. And I mean, honestly, just the... Uh... Okay, we're going to put it like this. We're going to go like that. There's the code for the Tarantar once again. And I'm going to show you the Tarantar. Very, very nice Tarantar. All right. And we are going to see what we got here. We have a... Oh, Roaring Skies. Very nice. Very, very nice Roaring Skies. This pack has uh, that Shaman, that broken Shaman that got banned. 
And then uh, the other pack is up. Oh, an Ancient Origin. Very, very nice. Look at that Ancient Origin with the black Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza on the on it pack artwork. Yeah, I had a feeling it had Ancient Origins in it or Primal Clash. Um, but it also has a couple more uh, hollows, apparently. It has a, a shift tree. Oh, I'm, I, we we got to show you the promo, the you know, alternate arts first. We got the shift tree and the, the Vivian. But yes, this was just recently bought, honestly. I'm going to do the Roaring Skies first before I do the Ancient Origin. Roaring Skies. All right. I have not opened up hardly any Roaring Skies. And I do, this pack is absolutely just getting obliterated by me opening it up. Now, unfortunately, this is probably these are probably were weighed when they got put in here because these are not made by the Pokemon Company. But nonetheless, it don't matter if they get weighed or not. You can still pull stuff. We got a Banette, very very interesting artworks. Got the Rayquaza Spirit Link to make it a Mega. We got ourselves a Swablu, P Dove, Bagan, Taylo. We got Electrike. We got a Natu and oh, it's a Natu. Oh, my bad. I forgot it's three. The Banette is the rare. I forgot it was three. There's no energies in X and Y. So, there you go. The Nat 2 is the rare. Interesting. Very, very interesting card. And uh, you can tell it's kind of warped or something like that over time. It just happens. Yeah, it's kind of not in the best of conditions anymore. But it is what it is. It kind of just happens over time. Packs get older. They get put in weird stuff and put in bins and who knows what. But anyways... We got Ancient Origins. Here we go. Last pack, Magic. Ancient Origins. I do not know what... I honestly have no idea what is good in this set. But yeah, you know, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. Share this video out. This video is absolutely crazy. Look at those hits. We only got four hits out of 18 packs. But that does not matter at all. Ancient Origins. Here we go. This time we're not going to mess it up. It's three. It's three. All right. Just three. Oh, okay, we got Blossom. We got an arm. We got a special darkness energy. Interesting. Dangerous energy. We got Relicant, Cottony, Battle Toy, Ralts. All right, we're at the reverse holler, everybody. All right, seriously. Seriously, share out this video. This video is absolutely insane. Look at those two hits over there. We got the Glary, Moltres, Altar, and the Sogaleo and Lunala Rainbow. That in itself is worth a like. I mean, come on. Here we go. The last pack, last card of this opening is a... Oh, Golurk. Oh, man. The codes were kind of lying to me. They were white. Oh, man. We got Golurk. Uh, whatever heck it is. Um, some sort of Z, but Z is stop or whatever. I don't know. It's weird how they do these new older cards. But anyways, thank you guys so much. That was absolutely fun. I really enjoyed opening some older packs with you guys. But don't never get to do it. Look at those hits, though. We only got four hits, but that's all that matters. We got two hits that just made it all absolutely worth it. Glaring Moltres, Alternate Art, and Rainbow Sogaleo and Lunala. Can't ask for much more than that. Wish the older packs, other older packs were the game of something, but wow. That right there. Paid for the opening. Right there. Just those two cards. Thank you guys so much. It was really fun. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all of them support. You know, keep checking it out. You know, like I said, come here on Saturday for the live stream of a, a case also come in on wednesday for the uh for some six for some six uh three pack magic you know of silver tempest anyways thank you guys so much for all of the support i appreciate every single one of you and i'll see you guys on wednesday